Hi, this is Caitlin with HP Software. We are here today to talk about some exciting new product enhancements from our IT management software team. I am here with Kelly Emo and Bruce Randall. They are with our product marketing group. Hey guys. Hey there. Hey Kelly. Hello. Hey, Kelly. Okay, so today we announced some new versions of our flagship quality and testing solutions. You know, and they're really aimed at helping development and testing teams balance the increasing demands for a quicker time to market, but really still assuring quality um, applications that are continuously delivered, that are user-centric for cloud composite and mobile. Bruce, can you tell us um, a little bit more about this announcement, what it's all about? Sure, I'd be happy to. There are really kind of two key facets to this announcement. And to introduce the first, a quick story. I was actually traveling last week, and just before I was going to board the plane, I dropped my phone and broke it. This is actually the phone, by the way. You probably can't see it, but it's got cracks all over it. And you can imagine, you know, the rest of the time I'm worried about what I'm going to do. Here I am on a trip for nine days, and I don't have my phone. Right? So I wanted to call, get it fixed, do everything I could to make it happen. And users are like that today. Right? They expect more. Um, this is what users have, have come to expect. They, they want something with them. They want the technology with them all the time. And IT is running like never before to develop applications that support these types of users and to keep everything running that they already had and to give people the new features that they want. So with all this running, there's a tendency to overlook the potential for, for things like quality um, and poor quality which will kill these new cool applications faster than the words Angry Birds will. And it also does significant damage potentially to the brands and to the uh, revenue of the company and even profit of the company. So the first facet of this announcement is, is really a reminder that quality management is, is very important and probably never been more important. And that HP, having been in this space for well over a decade, has more experience and knows this market better than, than anyone. And that's the first piece of the announcement. And Kelly, do you want to talk about the second piece? Sure, I'd be happy to. Thanks, Bruce. Um, kind of going back to a couple things that you said, you know, that IT is having to move faster than ever and create new creative functionality for their users while maintaining everything they have. That is so true. And as much as I love my Angry Birds, um, really the things that are running the backbone of the business are the business processes, the, you know, operational um, applications and those have to connect to these new amazing user experiences out there so IT has a real challenge they're having to deliver faster and faster yet they're having to maintain those high standards of quality and compliance that businesses expected and so that's really what's driving our investments across our products. So let me just do a cliff notes, kind of an overview on the new capabilities that we're rolling out um, with this announcement. I'm going to start with the management platform. So we need to manage quality throughout the life cycle. And as we move to Agile, we're iterating faster and faster. So we need visibility. We need collaboration. We need insight. So we've added to Quality Center with our 11.5 release new capabilities to report better in terms of the, what the information the users want to see. So user-centric business view reporting. We've also added more analytics both to um, the reporting and to, uh, to Agile Manager. So those are some new capabilities. And on top of that, we're giving our users the ability to grab that key quality information from their mobile devices. We've added an enhanced defect management application that runs on a mobile device. Now, testing is challenging as we iterate faster and faster and faster. And I know one of the big challenges is how do we enable our testers to be more efficient and keep pace. And a key element of that is automation. But automation testing can be difficult. Uh, it can be hard to maintain your automations. And if you don't have visibility across teams, you end up with a lot of duplication in terms of automation assets and scripts. So in Quality Center 11.5, we've enhanced our business process testing framework, which is designed to use a component approach to enable testers to reuse scripts and automations as needed as they move through their release cycles. And so what we've done with business process testing is we've integrated it fully not only with Quality Center and ALM, but also with unified functional testing so uh, test automation engineers can automatically populate components directly from UFT into BPT without having to move in and out of tools. This is really powerful because one of the things that gets in the way of efficiency is having to skill up and learn all these different tools and move in and out of them and that, and that actually can keep people from wanting to use them. So by having an integrated seamless user experience, it's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about performance testing now. We've done a number of new enhancements to our performance center and load runner platforms that are really designed at ensuring that these new modern applications perform. And the one I really want to highlight is what we've done with mobile. 
So with Load Runner Mobile, we've enhanced the protocols and also enhanced our integration with network virtualization. And why is that important? Well, we, we can get a feel for how mobile apps are going to perform, but one of the big variables is carrier networks. So network virtualization is key to give you the impact of the different carrier networks as you're doing your load testing, so you can account for that. Mm -hmm. And then finally, one last thing I want to talk about, um, testers and developers always struggle in these fast-paced, complex um, environments with having everything they need to test at the time they need it or to develop against. And we know sometimes services aren't available, they might be constrained, um, you know, they might be in a cloud. So we have uh, service virtualization, which is our solution to enable testers and developers to stand in or stand up virtual services or proxies, if you will, that can act as the real service. Well, with 3.0, our new release, we've made some key enhancements. The first is support for SAP. We know there's a lot of SAP out there, and those are usually the applications in production that are hard to get access to. So we now can virtualize SAP IDOC and SAP RFC protocols, which are key. And then we've also integrated service virtualization into QC and ALM, which means you can manage your virtual services just as you do your other test assets. So again, really increasing efficiency. So I know that was pretty high level, um, kind of designed to be that way to give you a, a taste of what we've come out and come out with, and we're going to do uh, deeper drill downs and further hangouts. So with that, let me hand it back over to um, to Caitlin and Bruce. Great, thanks, Kelly, and thanks, Bruce. Great taste of an overview for what we just announced today. Um, we are always interested in having our customers and our partners really come and join our conversation. So if you're looking to learn more, please go to hp.com backslash go backslash ALM blog. And again, as Kelly mentioned, we're going to be doing additional hangouts throughout the month, really focused in on these new enhancements that we announced today. So please join us. We look forward to hanging out with you. Thanks.